Hi, I'm Nabdi, and today we are going to continue our series on prefix sum. So without further ado, let me share my screen and then we can discuss the question on prefix sum. So now let's start with this question. The question is pick from both sides. In this question, you are given n array elements and on those array elements, you have to pick exactly B elements. You can pick either from the left hand side of the array or you can pick from the right hand side of the array. You have to find the maximum sum, right? So uh, let's understand this question with the help of an example. So let's, so let's uh, assume that you are given this array. This array has the elements as five minus two, three, one, and two. We have to make three pickings. Either we can make pickings from the left-hand side or from the right-hand side. So what I will do is first I'll choose five. After I pick five, I would be left with array, which is minus two, three, one, and two. Uh, then I'll choose two. Then I would be left with minus two, three, and one. Then I'll pick one. So the maximum that I can get is five plus two plus one, which would be eight. So that's the example that we have. Now let's talk about another example. So if the array given to us is one and two and the maximum pickings that are allowed are two, so the maximum output is going to be three. So uh, the size of the array is exactly same as number of pickings that are allowed. So this means that the, that the entire array has to be picked. You have to take each and every element and you have to pick the entire array. There is no other choice to it. So in that case, you have to return the sum of the entire array. Now we have got some idea around the question. Now let's try to solve it. So for solving it, let's try to see all possible cases of making the pickings. And then out of that, we'll try to see which is the case which has the maximum pickings. So for example, the given question that we had was five minus two, three, one, and two. And we were allowed to make three pickings out of it. So let's try to make all the pickings. So the first picking is three, one, and two. We are going to make uh, the last three elements, we are going to pick the last three elements. That's the first picking that I am making. I'll take the last element first, then in the la uh, in the next part also, I'll take the last element, then in the next part also, I'll take the last element. So this way, we will pick the last three elements. The other case might be that I pick the last two elements and I pick the first element. The other case might be that I pick the first two elements from the left hand side and I pick the last element from right hand side. And one other case that I might have is that I'm picking all the elements from left hand side and these are the elements that I get. When you are picking things like that, we can also see that there are some elements that we have left. Over here I can see that the elements that I have left is 5 and minus 2. Over here, I can see that the elements that I have left are minus two and three. Over here, I can see that the elements that I have left is three and one. Over here, I can see that the elements that I have left are one and two, the last two elements. This is one and this is two. Can I say that if I subtract the sum of these red elements from the entire array sum, then I can get the sum of this picking. I can get, right? So can I say that the sum of the entire array is represented by this variable called SUM? SUM subtracted by SUM of indices 0, 1. Similarly, the next element is going to be SUM minus sum associated with one comma two. Similarly, the next picking sum would be equivalent to sum of entire array subtracted by sum of second index to third index. Okay. And the last picking is going to be sum minus sum associated with three comma four. So we can see that there is a range which is associated with these values. 
there is a range which is associated with these values and these ranges can be easily found out using our prefixum right we can find these values let's suppose this is alpha 1 let's suppose this is alpha 2 let's suppose this is alpha 3 and let's suppose this is alpha 4 so maximum of these alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 is going to be our answer and we can easily find these values by sum minus sum of let's say it is i comma j so this range query some starting from some index and ending at some index this can easily be answered using prefix sum right okay so now let's try to generalize it with the help of another example let's try to come up with the formula so let's suppose you have an array which has these elements okay let's say this is the kth element okay and this is k plus one or uh, rather than writing it this way let's write it in the form of some value of k and some value of n let's take some value of k and some value of n and then we'll try to find it so once let me write it in this form let's say the value of n is equal to seven and the value of k is four so let's take some generic elements a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 and a6. Okay. Now what are the pickings that you are going to do? The pickings that we are going to do, the first picking that we are going to do is the last three elements. Okay. Sorry, we had to pick four elements. So if we have to pick four elements, we will pick the last four elements first. Okay then we are going to pick the first element from here and the three elements from behind then we are going to pick the first two elements from the beginning and the last two elements from the end then we are going to pick the first three elements from the beginning and one element from the end and over here we are going to pick all the four elements from the beginning now let's try to find what would be the indices that would be associated with the non-picked elements. And let's try to come up with a generic formula. Okay. So let's try to write it. So this is going to be equivalent to sum minus sum of 0 comma 2. Right. So the non-picked elements are going to be 0, 1 sorry a0 a1 and a2 the non-picked elements over here are going to be a1 a2 and a3 the non-picked elements over here are going to be a2 a3 and a4 the non-picked elements over here are going to be a3 a4 and a5 the non-picked elements at the end are going to be a4 a5 and a6 so i can easily write this is sum of 0 comma 2 so sum minus sum of 0 comma 2 this is sum of non-picked elements and if i subtract sum of non-picked elements from the sum of the entire array then i would be able to find the sum of picked elements okay now let's try to write it for the next part as well this would be sum minus sum of 1 comma 3 the next is going to be sum minus sum of 2 comma 4 the next picking is going to have a sum as sum minus sum of 3 comma 5 and the last picking is going to have sum of sum minus sum of 4 comma 6 right these are the last three elements after that we cannot move it forward so we cannot get it okay so over here let's try to generalize it over here the value of k is equal to 4 and the value of n is equal to 7. So for the first picking what we have to do is we have to start from 0 right and we have to the starting index is obviously going to be 0 and how many elements do I have to pick? I have to pick a total of n minus k elements right. Uh, what are the 
non picked elements non picked elements would be n minus k and picked elements are going to be k so if i say that the index of first non picked element is 0 what is the index of last non picked element in this first pickings don't you think it is going to be n minus k minus 1? Right? Let's say it is e. Then the next index of 8 is going to be, we are going to go to 1. We are only focusing on the indices of non-picked elements. So over here I can see the next starting index of non-picked elements is 1. And over here, the ending index of non-picked element is going to increase by plus 1, right? This is going to be n minus k and so on and so forth. I can see every time the non-picked element have a starting index which would increase by 1 and it would have a ending index which would also increase by 1. So that's how we are going to traverse over the entire array and we are going to find the sum of unpicked elements and we are going to subtract it from the sum and the answer that will come, we will compare it with the maximum sum, right? We'll subtract the sum of non-picked elements from the sum of entire array. This is how we'll get the sum of picked elements and we'll compare it with the maximum sum, okay? From all the sums that we get for all the picked elements, we will try to find maximum out of it. Okay. So now let's write, try to write the pseudocode of this problem. And then we'll try to find the time complexity, which is associated with this code. Okay. So over here, what we have to do, the first thing that we have to do is let's quickly write the function first. The return type of the function is obviously going to be int. And let's name this function as maximum sum associated with the pickings. And over here, what I'm going to do is I am going to take two inputs. One is array and the other input that I'm going to take is k. Right. The first thing that we have to do as soon as we enter is find sum of the entire array. Obviously, I assume that you would be able to find some of the entire array. So I think this can be left onto you. The second thing that we have to do is we have to construct the prefix sum because they were a lot of ranges and to find some associated with a range, we have to construct prefix sum, right? The next thing that we have to do is now let's try to solve this problem. Let's say n is denoting the length of the array or the size of the array. So now the next thing that I'll do is I'll go through each and every picking. So what was the first picking? In the first picking, I was taking k elements from the end. So that means I was not taking the first n minus k elements. So that means the sum associated with the first n minus k elements is going to be my answer. Sum associated with the first n minus k elements is the sum associated with elements which are kept at zeroth index till n minus k minus 1. Right? So let's start with this only. So let's say there is a variable called answer and let's assign the first sum with it. So first sum would be sum of the entire array subtracted by sum of first set of non-picked elements, which is starting from the zeroth index and ending at n minus k minus 1, right? After this is done, then we can keep two variables. Let's take one variable, which is equivalent to 0, and we can take another variable e, which is denoted by n minus k minus 1, right? This denotes the starting and the ending index of the unpicked elements. So obviously I have taken it for the first set of unpicked elements. So I can directly move my S and E to the next set of unpicked elements, which starts from the first index and which ends at N minus K. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. And similarly, let's quickly calculate a temporary answer over here. 
for the new slide for the new set of non picked elements it is going to be sum of new set of unpicked elements is going to start from s comma e and it is going to end at s comma e so if i have to find sum of picked elements i have to subtract it from the sum of the entire array so let me quickly calculate the sum of picked elements over here so i'll subtract sum of elements starting from starting index ending at e, e index and i'll subtract it from sum the answer is going to be stored in t answer okay so this is the picking that i have done okay now i will compare it with the maximum answer that i have so if t answer is bigger than answer so what we have to do is we have to update the maximum answer okay so this is what we do for one uh one picking okay so then we have to move to the next picking which can be moved by saying s plus plus and e plus plus and we have to keep doing it up till the value of e is less than n we have to keep doing it until value of e is less than n okay as soon as the e goes outside of the range of valid indices as soon as e goes outside of that range we have to get out of the loop okay and after we get out of this loop we can return answer as the answer to this question okay so this is how this question was to be solved there is one small edge case that we can quickly handle which we have not taken care of so far let's suppose if the entire array size is equivalent to k then you have to pick the entire array so your answer is going to be sum of the entire array this was explained in the second example so over here i had two elements to be picked and both of these elements and there were only two elements in the array so i had to pick the entire array so that can be handled over here i can say if n is double equal to k you don't have to do anything you just return the sum of the array you just return the sum of the array like this so this is how this question is to be solved and we are going to share a link to this question where you can go and submit this question in your favorite programming language i hope you have understood this question i'm sure you have understood how prefix sum can be applied to solve questions and i hope you would be able to implement this into code so all the best in implementing this pseudocode into code thank you